Hey, I'm Pete with Moscow Moto, and this is our Wildcat backpack. The Wildcat is a super comfortable off-road riding pack. We use it on adventure trips, we use it on single track trips, we use it for dual sport and enduro. It comes in two sizes, a 12 liter and an eight liter. The two sizes are actually very, very similar to each other. I have the 12 liter with me on this trip, so that's the pack I'm gonna use to demonstrate. One of my favorite features on the Wildcat is this expandable beaver tail on the front. On the 12 liter version, this almost doubles the capacity of the pack. This thing comes in handy for all kinds of stuff, and it also makes it really easy to transition this from a compact trail riding pack to a more expandable touring pack. On an extended trip, I use the beaver tail for things like my drone, extra fuel, garbage from camping the night before, or sometimes last minute groceries and supplies when I'm headed up to my campsite for the night. Another way to expand the capacity is to go for the optional chest rig. So the chest rig mounts on the front of the pack and it's a great spot to store things like a phone or an inReach, your wallet, chapstick, snacks, things I might want quick access to during the day without having to take off the pack. Also, by putting some of that weight on the front, it helps balance the weight a little. When I'm not using the chest rig, there's molly webbing on the pack, so a lot of times I'll attach that using two molly sticks to the molly panel on the outside of the beaver tail, and then it becomes just like an extra pocket. This molly panel is also a great spot for a radio. That's where I store mine using a little molly compatible holder. It puts the antenna of the radio as high and central on my body as possible. For the main storage on the Wildcat, there's two compartments. The first is the rear compartment. That's where your hydration reservoir goes. But even after you fill up the reservoir, there's still plenty of space to tuck other things. The second compartment is on the front of the bag behind the beaver tail. That's got some little tool organizer pockets in it too. There's a a goggle pocket on the top, tool holders on the sides. There's a spot for your inReach. We've got some webbing loops that are great for routing a hydration hose. It's also a great spot to clip your radio speaker mic. There's lots of adjustment in these shoulder straps. So this pack will fit even bigger riders with lots of insulating layers and body armor, but then it can contract down and fit smaller riders too. Personally, I expand mine when I'm on the bike and I have all my gear on, but then if I'm off the bike and I'm cruising around town or going for a hike or something like that, I'll contract the straps down and that way it feels and functions just like a normal backpack. There's also a removable waist strap and an adjustable sternum strap. Too. The three liter hydration reservoir that comes with the Wildcat is super low profile and it has a stabilizer in the middle so the water won't slush around. Then on the drink tube, we've got insulation for extreme temperatures. There's a dust cap so you're not going to reach down to take a sip of water and get a mouthful of sand and, and dirt. And then there's also a shut off on the bite valve so it's not going to drain itself in your gear bag or your tent. Personally, I have both sizes of this pack, the eight liter and the 12 liter, and I use them in all different kinds of riding scenarios from tight wood single track to dual sport desert blasting to big adventure bike trips on my 1290. It's just a great all around pack. I use it for mountain biking and hiking too. It's tough as nails. It's designed to take a hit. If you want to learn more about it, check it out on our website. We got lots of information up there. You can always send us a note. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.